Yeah. God is awesome. But before we get started on that, there's one thing I'm present. Oops, sorry. I know he appreciated that. <laughs> I find I'm pretty sure he appreciated that. Uh, uh, today, one thing our president did that was awesome, and uh, I haven't heard this in quite a while since 9-11, and that was he proclaimed a national day of prayer for the Harvey victims. And so what we're going to do is right now, together, we're going to pray for Harvey victims. You know, it was just a few years ago that it was us. And I remember in Floyd, I remember going down Winchester Beach Road, I called my father-in-law and said, uh, he lived down Winchester Beach Road, and I said, you're coming with us. He said, no, we'll be all right. I said, you didn't hear me. You're coming with us. And so he said, okay. And so we got down there, and we drove down there, and as quick as we could load everything up in the van, Coming back, the water was already almost too deep to drive away. And so, uh, again, and then also during that time, I remember in the parsonage, I remember going back in D.C.'s room, we were watching the rain and watching the big old pine trees. And while we were watching the trees, we saw a pine tree start falling, a big old pine tree start falling right toward our house. And I, and, and I just packed up and said, Lord, you got this. That's all I can say was, Lord, you got this. And I watched another breeze hit that tree. And it fell that it was coming down. And it was like it got picked up and pushed over and wound up landing on some light lines. We're still without power for two weeks, but praise God, rather be without power for two weeks and without, you know, life down here to keep on working for God. I mean, I'd have been in a good place, but at the same time, it was, you know, not my time. Isn't God good? All the time. All the time. Yeah. God is good. Got, got your, we're going to pray first. After we pray, then we're going to go right into this morning service. Father. We love you, Lord. We praise your name. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We know, God, there is nothing impossible for you, Lord. We know that all things are in your hands. Lord, we know, God, that even during this storm, this storm is in your hands. You were the one that stood up and rebuked the seas. You're the one that rebuked the winds. And, Father, I don't understand why this stuff comes upon us, except for I know that every time it does, it always brings out the best in everybody. And, Lord, I thank you for that, that the best has been brought out, and people quit looking at color and looking at race, and they just help each other. I thank you for that. I ask you right now, Lord, to minister mightily, Lord, to each and every victim, Lord, quickly, and, and let them see your hand and your power in the name of Jesus. We know, God, you've got this. Now, Father, again, we don't know all the ifs, ands, and buts, but you do, Father. And we thank you, Lord, for the cleansing that takes place during this. And when disaster strikes, it does bring our, like David said, when I, before I went astray, I forgot your word. But now that this tragedy has hit me, now I'm going back to your word. And I'm glad that I was strict with tragedy because it brought me back to your word. I thank you, God, that it's helping us to get over some of this racial divide and some of this other divide, Lord, and, and pull together. I ask you right now, Lord, to minister to each and every one. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And the church said, Amen. Amen. 